You are deep in the heart of the jungle, where the air is thick with humidity and the scent of damp earth and moss lingers in every breath. The trees rise like ancient pillars around you, their dense canopies letting in only slivers of golden light. Somewhere in the shadows, a rustle breaks the silence, soft, fleeting, like the brush of wind against leaves. But something feels off. You freeze. Your senses sharpen. Your eyes scan the undergrowth, darting between vines and tree trunks. There's nothing. Only stillness. Then, suddenly, without warning, the forest explodes with a sound so primal it seems to shake the ground beneath you. A roar, deep, powerful, ancient, tears through the trees like a thunderclap. It echoes across the landscape. The largest of all big cats is near. Today's topic is one of the most powerful and majestic animals on earth, the tiger. With its fiery orange coat, dark stripes, and piercing gaze, the tiger is a symbol of strength, beauty, and mystery. For thousands of years, humans have been fascinated by tigers. They appear in myths, folklore, literature, and even modern pop culture. But behind their striking appearance lies a complex and endangered animal whose story is as heartbreaking as it is inspiring. Let's trek into the world of tigers. Tigers are the largest wild cats in the world. In fact, some adult males weigh up to 660 pounds and stretch over 10 feet in length from nose to tail. That's larger than a full-grown lion and definitely larger than any big cat you'll find in the Americas or Africa. Those solitary creatures living and hunting alone and each one claims a large territory depending on how much prey is available in their environment. There are several subspecies of tigers, though sadly not all of them are still with us. Historically, there were nine recognized tiger subspecies. Today, only six remain. The Bengal tiger, Indochinese tiger, Malayan tiger, Siberian tiger, South China tiger, and Sumatran tiger. The other three, the Bali, Caspian, and Javan tigers are extinct. This extinction is mainly due to habitat loss and poaching. The Bengal tiger is the most numerous and can be found primarily in India with smaller populations in Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. Siberian tigers, also known as Amur tigers, live in the cold forests of Russia's far east and parts of China. They are the largest of all the tiger subspecies. Meanwhile, the Sumatran tiger can only be found on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. It is the smallest and most critically endangered. Each of these tigers has adapted to its environment in unique ways, from fur thickness to hunting strategies. White tigers are a rare color variation of the Bengal tiger and not a separate species or subspecies. Their distinctive white fur, icy blue eyes, and chocolate or gray stripes come from a genetic mutation called leukism, which reduces pigmentation in the fur but not in the eyes. White tigers do not occur often in the wild, and most live in captivity where selective breeding is used to maintain the trait. Unfortunately, this selective breeding often leads to inbreeding, which can result in a range of health problems, including crossed eyes, cleft palates, and weakened immune systems. Despite their striking appearance and popularity in zoos and entertainment, white tigers are not more endangered than any other tiger. They are simply less common due to the rarity of the gene. Their beauty is undeniable, and their existence raises important questions about ethics, conservation, and the role of humans in shaping wildlife genetics. Tigers are carnivores, meaning that they eat meat. Their diets include deer, wild boar, antelope, and even buffalo, depending on what's available in the region. A singer tiger can eat up to 80 pounds of meat in one sitting, though they typically eat less. Tigers are expert hunters known for their incredible patience and stealth. Rather than chasing prey over long distances like some predators, tigers rely on camouflage, silence, and surprise. They mark areas rich with prey using scent glands with their paws, cheeks, and urine, creating an invisible map of recent activity. Once a tiger locates its target, often a deer, wild boar, or buffalo, it uses tall grasses, bushes, and the shadows of trees to stay hidden as it silently stalks close. With slow, deliberate movements and eyes locked on the prey, the tiger will inch forward until it's within striking distance, usually less than 30 feet. Then, in a sudden burst of explosive power, the tiger lunges, aiming to knock the animal down with its muscular body and powerful jaws. It's a deadly combination of precision, strength, and timing, honed by evolution over thousands of years. Unlike most big cats, tigers actually love water. They are strong swimmers and often bathe in rivers or lakes to collapse. 
off, especially in the warmer parts of their range. Some tigers have even been known to trace prey into the water, taking advantage of their aquatic skills. Another fascinating feature of tigers is their roar. <coughs> A tiger's roar can be heard up to two miles away. It's a deep, thunderous sound that they use to communicate with other tigers, establish territory, or express stress. And it's not just roaring. They also growl, chuff, hiss, and moan. A chuff in particular is a friendly sound, often used between a mother and her cubs or as a greeting among tigers that are familiar with each other. Tigers are not only powerful predators, they're also deeply tied to the ecosystems in which they live. As apex predators, tigers help control prey populations, which keeps the balance in their habitats. When tigers disappear, the entire food chain begins to collapse, leading to overpopulation of some animals and the decline of others including important plants and trees. This makes the tiger not just a beautiful animal, but also a vital part of healthy forests and grasslands. Sadly, tigers are in danger. Fewer than 4,000 remain in the wild today. That number is shockingly low when you consider that just 100 years ago, there were likely over 100,000 tigers roaming across Asia. Habitat destruction from logging, agriculture, and human development has squeezed tigers into smaller and smaller patches of land. On top of that, illegal poaching continues to be a major threat. Tiger parts like bones, skin, and even whiskers are sold on the black market, often used in traditional medicines or as luxury items. Conservation efforts are underway and there is hope. Protected reserves, anti-poaching patrols, and awareness campaigns have helped tiger populations in some areas stabilize or even increase. For example, in India, several tiger reserves have seen positive growth thanks to concentrated efforts. In Russia, wildlife coordinators and camera traps are helping scientists track and protect Siberian tigers more effectively. The Global TX2 campaign aimed to double the number of wild tigers by the year 20. 2022, and it brought many countries together to support this shared mission. While not fully successful with its original target, it did lead to significant progress and many success stories. The global tiger population reached 5,574 by 2023, which was just shy of the goal of 6,000. Tigers have also played a major role in human culture. In Chinese mythology, the tiger is one of the 12 zodiac animals and represents courage and strength. In Hinduism, the goddess Durga is often depicted riding a tiger, symbolizing power and protection. Tigers are featured in Korean, Malaysian, and Vietnamese folklore as both guardians and fierce challengers. In literature and media, tigers appear in stories ranging from stories to the Jungle Book and the Life of Pi to the classic anime series Winnie the Pooh. Tigers are also important modern symbols. The World Wildlife Fund, or WWF, uses a stylized tigers as one of its icons to represent global wildlife conservations. And in sports, schools, and branding, tigers are commonly used to convey energy, dominance, and confidence. Tony the Tiger is a very famous cereal mascot. Now let's wrap up with a few fun facts about tigers. But before we do, I would like to thank you so much for watching this video. Please Please help me out. I am trying to get the necessary 1,000 subscribers for monetization by my birthday. If you are enjoying this video so far, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss a video. And let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen a tiger or if you've gotten to pet one. I have seen tigers before, but I've never pet one. There is a place near me that actually allows for tiger close-ups, but from my research, it seemed that they allegedly have unethical practices, so I've chosen not to go there. I'm pretty picky about what zoos I will go to, as I do think zoos do a lot of good with educating people about animals. A lot of them help with conservations, and they help with getting people interested in conservation. But there are also some zoos that can be cruel to the animals, and there are some that are very exploitative of them. I try my best to balance all of this when choosing whether or not to go to a certain zoo. What do you guys think about that topic? I think it's a great topic for debate. Anyway, enough about zoos and on to some fun facts that you might not know about tigers. 
No two tigers have the same stripe pattern. Each tiger's stripes are unique, like fingerprints in humans. Scientists can actually identify individual tigers just by studying their stripe patterns in photos or videos. A tiger's skin is striped, not just the fur. So if you shave a tiger, the stripes will still be visible on its skin. Tigers can leap over 30 feet in a single bound. That's like jumping across an entire bus in one motion. Their powerful back legs are built for sudden bursts of speed and long distance lunges. Ligers are high-bred animals born from a male lion and a female tiger, and they are the largest known cats in the world, often weighing over 900 pounds and growing up to 12 feet in length when standing on their hind legs. Ligers do not occur naturally in the wild, as lions and tigers live in very different habitats and have different ranges, but they can be bred in captivity. They often inherit physical and behavioral traits from both parents. The strength and social tendencies of lions and the swimming ability and stripes of tigers. While fascinating in appearance and size, ligers raise ethical concerns among conservationists and animal experts as they often suffer from health issues and are bred for novelty and not for any real scientific or conservation purpose. Let me know in the comments if I surprised you with any of these facts. Tigers are incredible creatures, steeped in legend, rooted in science, and deeply tied to the health of the world's ecosystems. Protecting them isn't just about saving a cute animal. It's about preserving biodiversity, respecting nature, and ensuring that future generations get to marvel at these striped wonders. Thanks for learning about tigers with me today. Whether you're planning a lesson, preparing a nature study, or just fueling your own curiosity, I hope this deep dive into the world of tigers has inspired you. Parents and teachers, if you're interested in educational materials that make learning fun and engaging for students while making prep time easy for you, please click the link in the description to visit my website. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to get messy and make lots of mistakes today. Bye!